Hi, welcome to another video on the TA controller. And in this video, we are going to discuss um, inserting more lock stitches or inserting fixing stitches, as we call it on the T8. I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. The first way is when we load a design. How do we insert more lock stitches um, while we're inserting a design? The other one is editing. How we insert insert more lock stitches uh, in a design that's already in our controller. So first of all, on the T8 controller, I'm going to go ahead and load a design through my USB device. I will choose the tubular frame and go through and choose my design as I usually would. Uh, this time I am going to choose a DST file. I will select it. I will go ahead and give it a free design number, confirm that, and as it is going into my um, file cabinet, I will optimize with the user-defined values. In optimizing, I'll go ahead and just hurry up and auto-assign my needles, and I'll accept that. But now, when I am in the optimization, I do want to go to more settings. In more settings, if I click here on insert fixing stitch, what that means is that if at the beginning or end of a piece of the design, the T8 notices that there are no small stitches for the lock stitch, it will put it in automatically. Now that's if it detects that there's no small stitches. If there are small stitches, if there are lock stitches at the beginning and end of a piece of the design, it will not put in a lock stitch. Now conversely, always insert fixing stitch on each area, it will always insert a lock stitch at the beginning and at the end. So for that extra lock stitch, you can click on in, always insert fixing stitch and that will always put in more small stitching in there to make sure that it will lock in and lock out. I will accept these settings. I will optimize with the set values. And then of course, it goes right into my controller. No design modification. And here's our design. Now the other way to do the optimization or the, uh, the lock stitches within a design that's already in the controller, this is where we would go to the editor. So we go to the editor right here on the left hand side, L5, and we choose the design we would like to insert the fixing stitches with. So I scroll down to my design, I'll select the design, and here on the right hand side I will choose the editor, or I'm sorry, the edit design. Then I will choose optimize, and in optimize, I choose optimize with user defined values. Click on that. Then I want to go to more settings. And again, here are our different settings in there. Go ahead and select it. Uh, do whatever modifications you want. We'll accept the settings. I'll optimize with those values. I'll go ahead and previous, get back out. And then finally, exit the editor. Now when exiting, it asks me if I would like to overwrite it. Since I do want to overwrite it, I don't want to have another version of it, I will just go ahead and click Store Design, and I will then overwrite the design. After I overwrite it, I have changed that design along with this design that I did bring in, and that is how I can um, add more fixing stitches or lock stitches in the design. Thanks for watching.